Now, the name Ogilvy in PR circles is revered as a respected giant in branding. Now, it's rebranding itself after being in the business for about 70 years this year. Now, its bold new look marks the end of a two-year restructuring plan. The agency's new purpose is simply, this is the tagline, to make brands better. Now, it, owns, it has made so many brands famous. Its own brand is famous, and it even got a quick mention in Mad Men. Take a listen. Average. Ogilvy wrote a book. I got the galleys. They want a quote or something. Advertising's already up there with lawyers is the most reviled. This is not going to help. It'll help him. <laughs> that money can't buy mention is something that might have made it larger, its larger rival, WPP, a little bit jealous. John uh, Seifert is Ogilvy's worldwide chairman and CEO, and he joins me now here in the C-suite. Thanks so much for coming in. Really it's a appreciate pleasure. It. Thank you, Aram. 70th year. I mean, when you think about the things I've seen, right, it's probably what one you say in the advertising and the, brand, in the branding world. You have your new tag uh, line. It took two years of, of restructuring. How painful was that two years of restructuring, and, and why do you think it took that long? Well, first of all, everybody in our business is going through pain. Uh, we have seen unprecedented changes in the marketing and advertising uh, world. A lot of that is brought on by new technology, the world of social uh, consumers now empowered to pretty much define brands on their own terms. So two years, in a way, is not that much time because for us, it's been a lot of rewiring of the company, uh, simplifying the company. We had grown up with uh, too many sub-brands, too many different pieces of the organization competing with each other. And the fact is, clients today, they want to sit down with a partner, talk about the complexity of their marketing and branding in a far more holistic and integrated way, and they expect you to come to the table to connect things, not try and sell them individual pieces uh, for your own good. And we'll talk about that restructuring. You know, branding, marketing, advertising can either be iconic or at times it can just be trite and useless. Yeah. I, I think so much in the digital world, so many people find it the latter. In the new environment, how do you make it relevant? Well, I think it starts with you have to start to shift the, your thinking. And one aspect of this is you just can't advertise anything anymore. You can't just assume that by doing a 30-second commercial and telling somebody what you do or how you do it, that that's good enough. Uh, consumers have more information than ever, and they know how to figure out what's fact from fiction. And so at the end of the day, you have to be relevant, you have to be deeply authentic, and you have to be consistent in creating value that consumers really judge as worth the dollar they want to pay for it. And that's a challenge. A challenge it is. I know that, you know, the namesake said that the, cha the uh, change is our lifeblood. But at what point does change just become su superfluous in the sense that I think you pretty much have to be changing every month in this new environment? No, I think that's right. And we certainly know that through the entry of big data, we now have more and more information than we've ever had. I mean, brands today are literally changing almost every minute. They have enough information in real time, understanding consumer behavior. You are on an airplane, you have a bad experience, you're tweeting about it, you're putting video online, sharing it with your friends. There's no brand in the world today that can afford to you know, wait three months or three weeks or three days to respond to the daily you know, interaction between themselves and their customers. And so that's a new part of what brand building is all about, which is you know, how effective are you at, at managing in the real time of consumer life? Uh, there's been a lot of talk, and this has hurt the companies as much as it's hurt the brand makers like you uh, about the digital space and, and the fact that whether it's social, Facebook, Google, that they are pretty much monopolizing that ad space. Do you see that changing or do you just see uh, Ogilvy adapting to that? I think everybody's going to adapt. I mean, the fact is that they've come in, they've garnered a huge share of spending in a very fast uh, period of time. They have their own challenges, issues of transparencies, issues of trust around uh, protecting people's data, protecting the environment in which advertisers, brands show up. So I think all of us are trying to figure out how to navigate this, this new reality. At the end of the day, David Ogilvy wrote the book on brands, and he ultimately argued that if you could not trust a brand in all that it does, at every point of interaction, at everything that it means to you in your life, then chances are you're not going to uh, be successful. And I think we're all trying to figure out in this new digital landscape how to be trusted, and how to be consistent and relevant in every interaction. And speaking about when brands do go poorly, I mean, you guys are getting into a new branch of business. You're taking on the consultants head on. Why? Well, because the fact is that brands are at the top of uh, CEOs' agendas. Consultants have long time, for a long time, been at the center of the CEO 
mm -hmm. uh, view of strategy and how they go to market and how they think about their business strategy. Our view in our consulting offering is we want to be at the conversation where business intersects brand, intersects technology. We're not going to go build the digital platforms of our largest clients. We're not going to restructure our clients the way a McKinsey or a Bain or someone like that might. But when it comes to thinking about how do brands show up, how do you think about new business models in which the brand has to reinvent itself in terms of setting new expectations with your audiences, we should be part of that conversation. We know through all of our history what it means to brand a company in that environment, and, and we think we have a really relevant uh, story to tell. Okay, we'll watch your future steps with interest. Thank you so much for coming Thank you. in. Thank you. Uh, it took 70 years to get here. I bet you any money you'll see as much change in the next seven as you saw I, in the last seven. I agree. Thanks.